Hey, what's going on? I'm DJ Sixsmith. You're watching The Sit Down. Season two of FBI has been a good one. Missy Peregrine is here with us. How are you? Good. How you doing? Nice to meet you. I feel like Sixsmith is a really tough name it's to say all the time. It's definitely an interesting one. I, I spend like five minutes of my day at least explaining how to spell it. Six like the number, Smith right. like the name. But where'd it come from? I know you're supposed to interview me. It's like an English surname. It's it like, is? like old is English. Is it actually your name? It's actually my name. Oh, yeah. fair enough. That's why yeah. you picked it. You know, people yeah. think it's a stage name, the whole thing. 100%. Yeah. It's actually I thought you were name. trying to be like, sex <laughs> like. Gotten that one before, <laughs> yeah. too. Your name is a lot easier. It is. Well, people still can't really say it. Mm. Well, Maggie Bell is an easy name. That's very to say. easy. Yeah, definitely. So, first of all, congratulations. You're Thank pregnant. You, you got yes. another member of the family coming. And I like that you just controlled it yourself and, like, just put it out there. So, how yeah. nerve wracking was that for you? Uh, a lot. I think it's stressed out two weeks in advance mm. um, because it's a very intimate thing. Yeah, it's yeah. our first one. I've never been through this before. So, it, uh, yeah, it was a big deal to share it and actually just own it. I mean, look, what did I buy myself? Two weeks? Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, It's going to tell on me sure. and very soon. Yeah, so yeah. it was really fun to kind of put something together and share the news. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. So how does this impact the character, the script, the show going forward, all that stuff? It impacts me a lot. It doesn't impact the show. Yeah. And Well, yes, it does. It impacts everybody involved in making it, but we're not going to use it in the show in terms of Maggie Bell. She's gotcha. not going to be pregnant this season. So how is... have to go kick yeah, ass. And, I'd say know, so. It would be a little bit tricky. Hard to be on the street, yeah. But if anybody could do it, maybe it could be Maggie Bell. I believe Bell. she yeah. 100% could do it. And yeah. maybe that down the line, that's something that we can use. Sure. Um, we talked about it, of you know what the options would mm. be, and it just made more sense to keep it the way it is right now. I feel you. So, yeah. what's it been like playing Maggie, and how has she grown as a character over these seasons? Um, it's always fun, by the way, doing a second season. Yeah, that's uh, nice, right? It is actually, and it's fun because we have two new characters, so her interactions are becoming a little more interesting and familiar. You mm -hmm. know, I, I really love Maggie and Oa together now. There's like an ease. There's yeah. uh, there's a genuine friendship. Uh, you know, it's off screen as well too, which makes it more fun to work with people too when you know them um, but really I mean she's just not gonna talk about Jason Bell <laughs> yeah. you know she's kind of she's getting over the death of her husband mm -hmm. and moving forward wants to kind of grow from that mm -hmm. that's what we'll see this next season I gotcha so you've yeah. done different types of shows that kind of fall into the whole FBI cop situation but yeah. what has been most enjoyable about this one how has this one challenged you this one, the schedule has challenged me. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> doing like, 23 episodes yeah, is challenging. That's a beast, especially yeah, in today's definitely. TV landscape. Like we're doing six, eight, ten, yeah. 23 yeah, is a it's whole wild. lot. It's the first time I've done that. Wow. So that's really the challenging part. Um, what I love about Maggie is that she's competent. She's been doing this a long time, whereas other roles I've played, you know, a cop for six mm. years, but rookie. Right. No idea what's mm. going on. So to play that like uh, all the time is actually exhausting. I'm There's sure something it is. really fun about coming in and, um, you know, it's. I guess it's kind of like acting as well. I've been doing it longer, so it's nice to be able to relate in that way. Whereas Rookie Blue, I was like, <laughs> right, you're just all over the place. You're like, all right, no I'm idea. gonna play this cop that's trying to figure things out. Now <laughs> no I'm yeah. an FBI agent. It's like I know who I am. Yeah, I'm confident yeah. in who I am, and I get to show yeah. that on screen. Yeah. And I'm sure that's actually a little bit easier because, like, just who you are as a person. It's like, yeah, I'm totally. confident I'm as a person. Now? That's yeah. exactly right. I'm so, 37. Right. I was 26 you, when that started. Yeah, you so know you who really you are. Can bring that to the right. table. Yeah. Definitely. So when you think about your career, like you've done a ton of different things. You've played some really interesting characters. What have been some of the crazier parts of the journey? Just building it out to this point. <gasps> Well, none of it was planned. Yeah. I've never had a vision for my career to be like, one day I need to make it here. Uh, it was always just what was the thing that interested me? How did I relate to that character when I read it at the time? Um, being a gymnast was a lot of fun. Yeah. That's something I could relate to because I grew up in athletics. That was my favorite thing to do. Still is. I just what, what can't do sports? it anymore. Basketball, soccer. Uh, I did everything you I did could. Everything. Field hockey, track and field, yeah. whatever I could do. Now I'm an old lady and <laughs> hurt my ankle really bad and I'm scared to play basketball, mm. but I'll get back into it. You will. Just, just give it a bandage my whole body and make sure nothing <laughs> can bend again. Just put an ankle brace exactly, on. Exactly, yeah, fine. five of them. Five of them. I can't afford to hurt myself anymore in the no, same way. No, definitely not. Um, so yeah, that was really fun and taxing in a completely different way. I mean, I was humbled by that job mm. dramatically. Uh, scary to be working with Jeff Bridges. Yeah. I was like, what, what I remember about that? not of this caliber in any way. <laughs> I was afraid I was going to ruin his career. Um, he was wonderful. He was really great. Uh, the one thing I'll never forget is he told me to do a scene with him. He's mm -hmm. like, all right, let's go over the scene. Don't say any of the words. I was like, I'm sweating. 
<laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I didn't go to training. I didn't go to school for any of this, so I right. was very scared. And it was the coolest thing ever because you basically connect immediately to the emotion and mm. the intention of the scene without saying what's on the page. And I've mm. never forgotten that. Have you done that in other roles? Uh, no, I just think I think that way now. Mm. I think that I read words going, what is the point here? What is the arc? Right. What are we trying to say? You know, where are we coming from? Where are we going? And it's very basic stuff, but I, yeah, I think I've applied that to everything. That's awesome. So yeah. who, who are other people that have impacted you like that? Oh man, see, I'm not good at that part. <laughs> I can't, like, uh, How about just people that you've enjoyed working with over the years? I've enjoyed working with so many people. I could say that for every job right. I've been on. Um, that's the best part of doing this, this kind of work, is that you're constantly meeting people who are rad. Uh, I mean, that's so hard to say. Rookie Blue, we worked for six seasons together. Right, you get and to know those people. It's a long time. There's still life. people who are in my life, mm -hmm. and, and we see each other. Um, really, it's about, they impact me personally, though, now. You How know? so? Um, because they, because you start journeying with them, and everybody has a different idea of of how they work and what they bring to the table. And at the end of the day, this job is about people. Yeah. That's it. So when you are, I feel like the acting is the easier part. I think it's the negotiating, how are we all going to build this project and make it the best thing that we can. I'm in communication relations, hmm. essentially, is <laughs> what I feel like. Yeah. Um, and that part is really fun for me. I guess that's how you build friendships anyway. So all of it is relationship based. Yeah, you have to be intentional about it too because some people come in and they just kind of go from one project to the next right. and they don't keep those friendships and relationships. Right. But you clearly have and that's something I really that you care value. about that. Yeah, I definitely do. I value that with crew. I value that with, uh, that's, that's a team thing. It takes so much work, mm -hmm. so much time and so many different people's uh, perspectives to build something great. And that's the fun part. So for FBI, that's, been so fun second season you know getting the team back together we all feeling a little bit better about mm -hmm. what we're doing and having an understanding of what our show is um, it's fun it just makes it more interesting you mentioned that acting wasn't the plan so what did you no. think you'd be doing you know when you wind it back maybe 10 15 years ago uh, I had no idea that's why I'm here <laughs> I guess <laughs> so I get to change my you mind just, all you the just time stumbled into it um, yes ish I ish. mean I was <sighs> I hate saying I was a model because it's not really fair to models. Uh, <laughs> so what kind I of model? I wasn't. Were you? I was trying. You're trying. I was to doing, be a model. and I was so uncomfortable with it. I was like, "This isn't for me. I don't yeah. like this at all." It made no sense to me. I can't play sports. Was this here in the states, or was this in Canada? And then be like a model. Uh, this was in Canada. Okay. Um, so I hated it, and I was like, "I'm not doing this anymore." They're like, "Well, commercials." Mm. I was like, that, "No, I don't want to do that." But what else was I going to do? Be an athlete nowhere? Right. There's no like career really for it's, women yeah, it's a lot in athletics. So. That wasn't really an option. So I was going to just doing this until I maybe went back to school for Whatever. gym teacher or yeah. uh, business. Mm -hmm. So I worked full time for a year. Business was out. And, uh, <laughs> you weren't feeling it. I mean, I'm kind of in business yeah, now in I'd a different so. way. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, I think I'm where I'm supposed to be. I think it all worked out. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I don't know. Yeah. I can change my mind. Hey, who knows? Never know. I don't know. <laughs> if you were to play one sport professionally, what would it be? Basketball. Yeah. Who were your favorite basketball players growing up? Oh, this is funny. Um, this is tough because we only had a team for a very short amount of time. Right. We had the Grizzlies. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know how many years we had them for, but Big Just, Country was right. a sensation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I haven't heard Big Country's name I, in a long I time. I know. I don't think anybody's saying his yeah. name now. Um, I don't even know where he is. But That's a great question. Yeah. But he, he was a guy that popped out. I'll bring this sure. up in the next episode. Yeah. Like, if we it's need to find Big Country. Yeah. Let's just find him, bring him in. He's going to be <laughs> yeah. sitting at the coffee shop before everything explodes. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> you want to blow up Big Country? Come no, on. you can't be doing that. that don't Vancouver do that. would be so pissed. Yeah. Vancouver's already pissed. We don't We have no team. Right. No one can. Everyone forgot about it. And Nobody's like, following it's fine. We're Memphis Grizzlies. Anyway. Yeah, but like no. for a basketball player, you it must have been cool to be watching that. But now it was it's like it's awesome. gone. Like, and also tickets were super cheap. That too. So I could yeah. afford to do that when I was younger. Um, I think we had Bibby. I think yeah, Mike Bibby was on the team. <sighs> yeah. He was unbelievable. Was I mean, great. he also he's like a smaller guy yeah. compared to everybody else, but his ball handling skills were unbelievable. Yeah, so it was, was exciting for me because I was a point guard. guard. Yeah. Have you seen recent pictures of Mike Bibby? He's like super no. jacked now. 
<laughs> he wouldn't Doing even. What? Is he playing still? No, like he's, he's, he's he just did bored. like the big he three. He doesn't know what to do with Yeah, he just he's was just like, like, I'm getting uh, into lifting. He's like enormous. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't even recognize is him. Is he competing? I have no idea what he's doing. He just wanted to get swole. See, this is the problem <laughs> with being an athlete because you have a time limit and then I think you go crazy. Yeah. Because what else are you going to do with yourself? Yeah. I mean, you have a lot more to offer than just athletics, but when that's all you know, I mean, I was barely athletic at that, you know, at that level. Sure, but it shaped your ident identity. A hundred percent. And also I had no idea who I was after mm -hmm. high school. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, now what? Right. So I can only imagine after a professional career, I don't know what, I don't know. I mean, unless you're going to go and what, be on ESPN or I don't so, know. I don't know what all the goal. options are, but yeah. there's only so many slots for that. Yeah. My wife played softball in college and okay. then once that was done, same sort of thing. It's like, yeah. what's next? She tried coaching for a little bit, wasn't feeling it. She's a writer now. She writes about softball, but right. there you go. it's not the same that's as the playing thing. it. So that's why I'm always trying to get roles that are athletic. Yeah. There so you go. That's how I can do it. Well, we got to have this happen once once the baby comes. Once, I know. Once you're all good. Now I'm just going to be like, go. You're playing sports. He's going to be like, I want to. And I'm like, oh. It's like a little bit of time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you look around, whether it's sports or acting, who are other people that really inspire you right now, just in terms of the way that they're doing their thing? Oh, man. I have to say, I just finished Michelle Obama's book. Mm, yeah, becoming. I cannot get it out of my head. I am so enamored with her. Incredible story. Their family. It's. I literally finished it and I was like, what are we doing, Tom? <laughs> what are we, we doing for this it? country? Yeah. <laughs> How are we going to make positive change? What can we do with every, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it doesn't have to be big. Just what no, are we going to do things. today? Yeah. yeah. He's like, what just happened? What did you just read? I was like, like you're reading time. it next. Yep. That's usually how it goes. Same I'm thing like, with we're my having wife. a baby. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we need to be thinking about these things. Like, we got to get our citizenship. Mm. We got to vote. Yeah. I mean, there's only so much I can do about that. Yeah. But one step at a time. I find that very inspiring. People who, People who live their life on a grander scale and they're afraid to do it, but they do it anyway. They push through it. Really yeah. inspires me because I think I am very nervous about doing that. Hmm. Do you think that'll change as you get a little bit older, bring a child into the world, that kind of thing? I don't know how it's going to change. I think I've always been overly responsible anyway. Hmm. So I know that I have to be careful about that. I have to like remind myself that it's not that big of a deal. You can have fun. Yeah, totally. You don't have to have all the answers all the time. So no, I have to not. be careful with myself with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of, I'm excited for the world that will open up totally. with having a child and the opportunities that we'll have to actually give back and you kind of, you expand your community so naturally that way. So I'm excited. That's and awesome. New York is an awesome place for this. I mean, yeah, I'd say so. I feel like everybody's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like blown away. I was so scared <laughs> to get pregnant right. uh, and work and do all this. And I was just like, you know, it, it seems so cool and like. What a neat thing until you... Until you're in it. Until you're in it and yeah. you're like, like oh what boy. is happening in my body right now? I could die. That's yeah. where my head goes to. Sure. Like, this is the riskiest thing I'll ever do. I you're going to have all those thoughts. It's just going to yeah. happen. But then I'm like looking at all these women. I'm like, well, she lived. Right. She, she lived. can do They're it. Alive. She They're, can do They're it. Alive. They Why can't great. I? They're so happy. I'm like looking in their eyes and like just going by and I'm like, no, oh, she's happy. They're like, what are you looking okay. at? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, don't worry about it. I was like, I guess it really is the greatest thing. Yeah. That's awesome. So That's when people check out okay. season two, if they haven't checked it out, what are the big things to check out this season? Oh, I would say the thing I'm enjoying the most is the new people that we have in our cast. So we've got Alana De La Garza and John Boyd, and they bring a lot to the table. It's been fun to see those dynamics. Um, Ebene is now out on the field. Mm -hmm. That. That's the thing. That's where we're really finding our groove right now, and uh, it's fun. It's fun to see people playing off of each other. That's awesome. Missy, yeah. really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Congratulations again. Thank you. Check her out, FBI on CBS. For Missy, I'm DJ. See you next time. Here on the sit-down. Bye.